Oh my goodness, could this be my Galaxy Fold? I'm not sure, it feels quite heavy, but I wasn't expecting it so soon. I was expecting it Friday, Saturday or Sunday. No way, is this my Galaxy Fold? Are you kidding me? It does feel quite hefty. Oh, I'm so excited. If this is not my Galaxy Fold, I'm gonna rage. <laughs> if it's not the Fold, I'm gonna be disappointed. Come on. Come on. Still can't tell if it's the Galaxy Fold or not. Okay. Let's open it together. <gasps> it's the Fold! <laughs> it's the Fold! I can't believe it came today. I thought it was going to come tomorrow. So this is the 5G Galaxy Samsung Fold, very nice. 512 gigabyte storage. Wow, that's so much storage. I've only got 125 on my S10 Plus and I'm always running out of room and having to delete stuff. But now I've got 512. Okay, calm down, Daniel. Calm down, Daniel. Let's open it. Oh, I don't want to open it. I'm too excited. I want to enjoy the excitement bit longer. No, let's open it now. What are you waiting for? Better be good. So I tried this out in Korea. There's my knife. Oh look! It's sealed as well. Open this neatly. Ooh. It's a weird box. Why is it like this? And then you slide this out, I guess. And then there's a pull tab here. Oh, it's already been opened. That's weird. It pulls sideways. I thought it was going to open this way. Okay, so it opens. Oh, it does open that way. It opens anyway, I guess. <gasps> there it is! Look! That's my face. Wow. Let's read the instructions. Do not press the screen with hard or sharp objects such as a pen, fingernail, or apply excessive press. Oh, look at it. It's cold to the touch. Look at that. That's a nice phone. <gasps> That's a lot of fingerprints. So let's get this plastic off first. Oh, I love that sound. <gasps> Look at that. That is a phone. That is a fat phone. That looks like my fridge. So this is the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm going to fold my phone in half. Oh, that feels weird. Oh, that feels strange. Wow. So there's actually a screen here as well when it's turned on. And you can use the phone like this, kind of like a normal phone. And yeah, it's quite thick. It's like two phones on top of each other. If you can see the thickness, zoom up, Michael. Who's Michael? There you go. That's the thickness of the phone. And then it flips open, folds open like a butterfly. And yeah, there is a crease in the middle, but when it's on, you won't really no you won't really notice it, hopefully. It feels weird when you close it. It feels like the screen is gonna snap. But it's a it's a plastic screen, not glass, obviously. It's made out of plastic, so it's quite flexible. I'm not sure how many times you can open and close it until it does finally snap. Isn't it cool though? Look, you're using it like this and then you can just close it and then put it in your pocket. Okay, let's turn it on. Hopefully it has battery. Secured by Knox. Powered by Android.
Yeah, when you aim the screen at a bright light, then the crease is kind of obvious. But when you're looking at it straight on, like this, it's not too obvious. Let's go. Okay, so I have to enter my details. I have read and agreed to all above. Oh, it's so nice to use like this. You know when you're using your phone like this, it feels kind of cramped because it's so narrow. But this is wide, and you've got so much room to move your thumbs around, and the screen's so nice and big. That's what I loved about it when I tried it in the shop. Okay, so give me a few minutes to set this up, and then after I finish setting up, I'll show you what it's like and test out the cameras and do stuff like that. So see you in a minute. Hello and welcome back to my Galaxy Fold video. So I know I said I'd be back in a few minutes. Well, it's actually been a few days, nearly a week. And the reason why is because I wanted to use it for a few days first before I give you my final impressions on the Samsung Galaxy Fold. And I'm not joking when I say this, but this is the best freaking phone that I've ever used. It is so good. I would easily say this phone is 100 times better than any iPhone I've used. Look, I got this ring thing as well. <sighs> I don't even know where to start. There's so many things I need to talk about. I need to explain to you why this is the best phone ever and why you should all go and get one yourself. Okay, so first of all, when it's closed, you've got this very handy external screen here. So you can use it one-handedly very easily. Just swipe it up and you've got all of your apps. It's just like a mini screen, does everything that the phone usually does. You've got all your apps, you've got YouTube. Yeah, there's very thick bezels and the reason for that is, is because, well, the screen is kind of narrow. So um, it has to be like that. Oh look, someone's riding a horse. So you can do everything you can usually do on your phone using this tiny exterior screen, such as watching your favorite cooking channel, Cooking with Daniel, where I prepare delicious food, such as Italian pizza and English fry-ups. So you can easily do stuff one-handedly, like watching YouTube using the external screen, which is very useful. Sometimes you might not want to fold out the screen and use the big screen because you might be walking around like this with only one hand available and this tiny screen is very useful. And if you want to make the screen bigger, all you have to do is open it like this and then look at that, that's really nice. Oh, And then we've just transformed our tiny phone, which had a very small screen on the outside, into this massive screen, which is kind of like a, a mini tablet, a bit like the iPad mini, but not, not as big as the iPad mini. Look at that, isn't that really cool? Look, you can carry on doing what you were doing on the smaller screen. It just seamlessly carries on what you were doing. And you can watch YouTube, put it into landscape mode, cook some baked beans. You just don't know how nice it is to be able to transform your phone screen into a much larger screen and just sit down. So I sit down like this, oh, just relaxing, holding my phone and it's really big and lots of space. Um, the cameras are basically the same as the Samsung S10 cameras, exactly the same. You've got wide angle, you've got standard, you've got the zoom thing. And it's a bit difficult taking photos and making videos like this. So what I do is I just close it like that. And then if you double click the lock button, which is on this side, and then it opens the camera and then you can take photos like this, which is much easier because it's easier to hold. So if you want to take videos, you can just hold it like this, using your little finger to support it. And yeah, it's quite good for making videos and taking photos. I thought it'd be a bit difficult because it's, it's like a weird shape when it's folded, but it's, it's not actually. The main problem is it's a bit heavy since it's such a big phone and it makes my little finger feel tired after a while. So I bought this ring thing which lets me hold on to it really easily, just attaches to the back of the phone. And then you can just um, hold it like this without really 
needing to use your little finger. And the ring thing on the back is pretty cool because you can also use it as a little stand. So I like to do this. I put it into what I call laptop mode. So you can go onto YouTube and then put it into horizontal mode like that. And then you can watch stuff like this. And it's quite nice. It's like a little laptop. You can use it like a, a mini laptop like this. When you flip it horizontally, the keyboard goes down to the bottom half and then you can type really well. Hello, I am Daniel making video on YouTube. See? Isn't that cool? The multitasking on this phone is incredible. If you watch what I'm doing now. So if I opened Chrome, You've got Chrome open, and then if you swipe from the right edge like this, you've got a list of apps you can open, and you just tap, for example, I'll, I'll tap YouTube, and it opens side by side, and then you can do it horizontally, and then you've got split screen, just like the iPad. It's exactly the same as the iPad's split screen app thingamajig, and then you can resize each, each window like this. And you can also open a third app like this if you swipe right again and then open Discord, for example. Look at that. I've got three apps open at the same time. One, two, three. And then what I like to do is, well, I'll be doing internet browsing here. And then I can chat to people down on this corner. And then I can also watch YouTube at the top at the same time. And if you thought that was all for the multitasking, oh no, I'm about to blow your mind. Watch this. If you hold it down and then drag it to the middle, you can open as many apps as you want to at the same time. It opens like a pop-up window. Not sure if you can see it very well. See, it's like a pop-up window and you can drag it around and you can resize it like this. So I've got four apps open right now. I can even open as many apps as I want to. Let's open Amazon as well. So I've got Amazon open up here. I currently have five apps open at the same time. I've got Google Calculator. Oh, I just pressed something. Yeah, I have five apps open at the same time. I've got the calculator, I've got Amazon, I've got Google, I've got YouTube, I've got Discord. You can probably keep opening more apps like this. Look, I've got six apps open now. Look at that, I've got six apps open at the same time and it's not even slowing down or anything. It's really smooth because it has 12 gigabytes of RAM. Now, I know you probably won't want to use six apps at the same time, but if you wanted to, um, you can. You probably could open 10 apps at the same time, but let's not go crazy. That's kind of, that's just being silly at that point. And this is what it looks like next to the iPad Pro 11 inch. So you can see it's about, how big is it? It's about half the size of the iPad Pro screen. And I haven't actually used the iPad Pro since I got the Galaxy Fold. I feel like the Galaxy Fold screen is big enough to not really need the iPad Pro anymore. And you might be thinking, isn't it a bit expensive? I mean, it costs £1,900 brand new, which is about twice the price that I paid for the iPad Pro brand new. But if you think about it, you're getting a phone and you're also getting a... Look, so you've got a phone and you're also getting a little tablet. Getting a little tablet, so you've got two devices in one. It's a tablet and a phone. That's why it costs so much money and it looks cool. I guess it is kind of expensive, it's nearly £2,000, but if you think about it, you know, it's a really premium high-end phone. You get 512 gigabytes of storage, which is huge, and it has 12 gigabytes of RAM, which is more RAM than my computer has. I guess my main complaints would be there's no headphone jack, but that doesn't really matter anymore because everyone has wireless headphones now, 
And there's no SD card slot, but that doesn't really matter either because you get 512 gigabytes of storage with it. You also get these free pair of Galaxy Buds that came with it, and they're actually quite good. If you look on Amazon, they cost about £100, and you just get them for free with the phone, which is very generous. Yeah, they're quite nice. Before, I was using these, which were much cheaper. They kind of look like AirPods. But I guess I don't need them anymore. So in conclusion, I think it's easily the best phone that I've ever used. It's really nice. Yeah, I really like it. It opens and it closes. And I definitely do not regret spending so much money.